Hello everybody, my name is King6 and today we're going to be looking at a silver Warwick jungle main. So let's get into it. Your starting items look great, that's what you're supposed to start. I see a lot of low elo Warwick players take a refillable potion, which is really bad. Getting the health beads is really good because it helps you get your early team at that much quicker. Now, one thing I will say is, if you've seen my videos before, I don't like this start. 9 times out of 10, it's better to invade on Warwick, especially in low elo. That's how you get the free low. So Juwani is a low HP jungler in her first couple of levels. So basically level one to three in her first clear, she's hella low on health and she's not that strong. So what Sejuani does nine out of 10 times is she will start at blue buff, get a strong leash, go wolves into her red buff. So what you need to do Whenever you know you're going up against a weak early game jungler is you need to wait around in this bush, leave base, come in this bush as soon as you can, keep watch. And then at like the 130 mark, you walk all the way up into here. It's very simple. You'll take red buff and as you're leaving, you'll drop a ward in the edge of the bush so you can see. Then once you've left, you'll go down to your blue buff. After you're done with your blue buff, if she, you still haven't seen her here, you should really come do your wolves into red buff. To make sure she didn't come to your red buff, you should have your bot lane ward it. That is the best start on Warwick, the most optimal start. But it looks like you're going to be playing a very safe start getting a leash from your red buff. The only time I'd recommend something like this is if the enemies already know your strat or if they saw you when you were trying to do your thing. Anyways, let's see what you do. It was smart to skip raptors. You take too much damage and your clear is too slow on them. I'm not quite sure why you skipped the wolves. You should really be doing the wolves right now. Smite the wolves and then do your blue buff for the level 3. I'm not a big fan of blue into gromp. So now you're level 2. I guess you feel like you can clear gromp faster. Okay, so looking at Fiora's position, she's level 2. Most likely she hasn't warded this bush because she's been focused on pushing and it is low elo. What I would personally do right now is I'd walk over to this wall. Stay away from this bush for now until you get some distance to here. Because look, if you run from along the wall, look, look at your path. You're going to be a lot farther behind her. Now, if you run from this bush, look, you're all the way over here. So it's better to be farther behind her. That way she can't get away from you. So if you were to come from this direction and she started to run right now, she might actually get away. So you're going to come in. You should be, as you, once you click over here, you should keep an eye on her, see what she's doing. So this obviously isn't warded. So you step over here, you activate your W, which is fine. And she goes in. So now you should just run in. You're already behind her and you're moving really fast. She can't get away from you. And she's level two, you're level three and have double buffs. There's no reason whatsoever for you to activate your E right here. For example, if you were all the way back here, would you activate your E? It would obviously be no, because you wouldn't be able to get to her in time to use it. Same thing with here. Why are you putting so much pressure on yourself to get to her so quickly to activate your E right now? Best case scenario, you have to flash to get your E on her since you activated it so early. Wait till you're in melee range, or at least flash range, till you activate your E, but you're way too far away here, buddy. So you activate, you realize you fucked up, then you ward the bush, and then you flash, really bad flash. Since you're already behind her, make her walk through you. Don't make it easy on her. Don't blow your flash already. Just walk to her. You're already behind her. She'll have to move through you. When she has nowhere to go and she's going to dash or flash this way, just cue her. Okay, so you guys do get the kill. You completely waste your flash though. I'm glad you did ward the bush, but that flash was questionable. Take the, take the scuttle, smart choice. Okay, so this is the best case scenario. You should always be looking for this whenever you gank a top laner, especially... When they're pushed and they have teleport, after you get a kill, most likely they will teleport back because they're being greedy, want to get CS and get more pressure back into the lane. So you're taking the scuttle and look, you're she's already here again. You just gank so you know it's not warded because she didn't react. So you can easily come back up behind her again and gank her. Looks like you're going to go elsewhere. You're going to do your wolves. Let's see how much gold you have. So at this point, you only have 688, so you need to... Get 1050 for your team at. Never do you, if you need the goal, just go to your Raptors or gank mid right here. You see Brand's pushing. This is actually a fairly easy gank. Brand's really immobile. Whenever you gank him and you queue through him, he'll usually miss his fireball and he can't stun you. So what you're going to want to do here, you either come around, walk all the way around and gank him from behind. If you feel like this bush isn't warded, you can just walk up and gank him from here. But this is the safer bet coming all the way behind him from here. Running all the way down here is wasting time. 
and this takes forever to clear. Just take Raptors or gank Bran. Especially since this bot lane isn't that gankable. Morgana is really difficult for Warwick to gank because of her snare. You need your ultimate up. And her black shield also makes it very difficult. So I typically stay away from Morgana lanes. Unless they were unless Morgana and Twitch were pushed to your turret, I honestly probably wouldn't touch it. Here you're wasting time. You have enough gold, so look. After your golems, you had enough gold. You have 1100, you can easily go back and get your team map. 50 gold to spare. Just back, get your team map. So here you realize, oh, I should have been ganking mid instead of doing golems. Someone's pinging you away. Don't know who that was. Now he's asking for help. This is an easy gank, just come up behind him. And just stay calm. And we're assuming his flash is up. If you don't think his flash is down, I would run this way to cut him off. Because Zed can go this way. And he only has enough mana for one spell. So if Zed dies, he's stupid. I would probably just try to cut him off right now. Q. Alright, auto attack. Q through him. In a situation where they're running away from you. And they have to run. Let's say he has to run this direction or this direction to get away. Q through him. And it'll put you right here. And then he'll have to keep walking through you. So you can get off a bunch of easy auto attacks. Oh uh, yeah, if you would have queued through them, that would have been a guaranteed kill, my friend. Whenever someone's running away, just queue through them, like I said, and it should be a very cheap kill. Luckily, Zed does pick up the kill on her. Wow, that was some insane orb walking. Like, the replay just derped out, and Zed did an insane Michael Jackson move. Picked up your team at, which is great. You got boots at speed, which is also good after team at. Going mid to pick up this wave, very smart. Now, you're almost level 6, so I would say get level 6 since your flash isn't up yet. You really, t unless it's an easy gank like this, like you could probably gank this right now, but it's safer to get level 6 first. Okay, now that you are level 6, since you're already top lane, I'd probably come here and gank. Whenever you hit that, they can see that. Like, they see this light coming, and then they can look and be like, oh, there's a plan over here. Then they'll know you're coming. So you typically don't do that on a lane that you're about to gank. So what you would do is, if you felt like this was warded, you just come to the plant, activate W, hit plant, and gank her, and you'd be moving hella fast. Don't use your ultimate till after she uses her parry. She'll be trying to predict it. So she'll be walking around trying to juke and trying to parry it, but you're not going to use it until after she uses her parry. So you come up behind her, which is good. I like it. Now don't freak out. You're already behind her. Just walk up and start autoing her. That was a decent ward. You should have waited until she entered the bush, though. Okay, that ultimate was very risky. If she would have parried, that could have turned out very poorly. But I would have just ran up to her with my Eon, queued through her, and then she'd have to try to predict when you're going to let go of your fear. Since you do have a lot of time when you can let go of your fear, it's basically impossible for her to predict. Luckily, the gate did turn out. I do like how you came up behind her, and you played it somewhat cool. Your ultimate wasn't really needed, though. Okay, so you're looking on the minimap, you see Sejuani, she is only level 5. Since you see her down here, you can figure that she's been on this side of her jungle. And she has blue buff, so you know she was on this side of her jungle. So I would like to see you come over here and take her camps. That would be very smart. You're waiting around, not quite sure what you're waiting for. Your ultimate is down. Get your blue buff. Go straight into red. Personally, I'd probably just keep camping top lane. It's such an easy gank in this fjord. Look where she's at. She comes right back to lane. She's already pushed. Like, she's past the center point. So she definitely is going to be free kills. Alright, so you're coming mid. You and Zed could actually fight them as long as you don't let the brand ultimate bounce onto both of you. You guys would actually win. I'm really glad you activated your E early there. Sejuani was turning on you, so you activating your E is going to make you take a lot less damage. Get the fear. Okay, that was good. Good kill on Bran. Turn on to Sejuani. Ooh, you got him, baby. You did it. That was a pretty clean play, I will say. You didn't have your ultimate up, but you made good use of your flash. Well played, my man. You didn't panic. Activated E right when she was going on to you. That made you take a lot less damage, and you feared her off of you, which allowed you to get on the Bran easier. Great ultimate, good timing, well played. Luckily, she didn't parry it, but sometimes you gotta play those odds. Great fear. Yeah, that, that's good mechanics overall. That That's a solid play. 
not much to say about that. How much gold do you have? You over linger a little bit. So right now you have 2,700 gold. You need to go back. I'm not quite sure what build you're going for, but if you look at your team comp, you don't have a team. So you should go my classic tank Warwick build, get your Cinder Hulk into Tabbies or Mercs, and then get your Titanic Hydra. So right now you really shouldn't be farming. You have way too much gold. I would have just backed right there. You're going to go back farm some more, wasting your time. The ultimate is down, so there's no point. The only way I would have stayed was if my ultimate was about to be up. So I would have done the camp and then been like, okay, now I'll go gank before I go home. You see brand bot lane, your ultimate still isn't up. Not much you can do here. I guess you're trying to body block the ultimate, Sejuani. I would get out of there. That's a dead, that's a, that's a trap. If one of them snares or stuns you right now, you're going to die instantly. Yep, you're dead. Whenever you're in a situation where you know you can't get a kill, take a flash or take a turret, don't go there. Like you went down here knowing you weren't going to get anything and you had a bunch of gold. It was just very risky. And I don't know why Zed would do that. Best case scenario, Zed kills Twitch and dies. Yeah, so he ends up running away. Waste all. Waste flash. Okay, let's see what you're doing. Okay, so you're back at base. I don't like this. Almost never really get rush Titanic Kyger. That's like a top lane Warwick. You don't really do that on jungle Warwick. Always get your Cinder Hulk first. It's a lot more useful, trust me. And it's a lot cheaper. So get your Cinder Hulk, then get your Titanic Hydra. And Boots of Swiftness are useless on Warwick. Trust me, they're not worth it. Go for the Tabs or Mercs. You're going to want to go for Tabby's Mercs or Boots of Mobility on Warwick. Overall, Swifties aren't very good. Okay, so you're already behind her. Don't panic. Don't waste your ultimate. Just run up to her, auto attack. Right as she starts her dash queue through her with your Eon. Okay, you ulted. Very unnecessary. She was already like one shot with a Q. So that was a complete waste. Your, your ultimate is when you don't need to use your ultimate it's important that you don't because it's such a free tool to get a kill on someone who is full hp remember that you're already behind her she's gonna have to run through you i really was under turret so you didn't really have to worry about her dying see now if your ultimate was up you could have came getting brand gotten twice as much pressure and taken a turret and you don't have ult now since zed is coming and you see what's happening i would position over here and get behind him from this direction, it's not quite as clean. Plus, right when he sees Zed, since he doesn't have many minions, he's probably going to back up immediately. Let's see how you play it. So Zed's coming. Guarantee, yeah. Right when he sees Zed, he backs up. You activate W. You end up getting out here. You activate E way too early again. You activate it over here. There's no reason. You get off a good fear. Push him this way. Well played. You played that perfectly other than activating your E so early. If you would have flashed this way or moved this way, cut hard right, since you didn't have ultimate up, you would have had to burn your flash to land your fear. But don't use it so soon. It's not a Shaco box. You can't place it and then just wait for it to happen. Okay, your ultimate's coming up. It is up now. In this situation, since they're taking down a turret, even though you don't have much mana, you'll have enough mana for your ultimate. So I would come and probably do something here. It's not worth losing first turret. You need to keep a vigilant eye on the map of where the first turrets are. So you probably should have stayed top and gotten first turret rather than ganking mid. First turret is a bunch of extra gold. So definitely would have stayed there and gotten that. But now they're going to first turret you guys, it looks like. Or not. So you get blue buff. Luckily, they don't take your first turret. I don't know why you're running from this direction. Should have went around. The Juani goes in without her team's backup. Bran shouldn't have ult. Healing is fine. Good ult on a Sejuani. She shouldn't have stepped up. Well played. See, you activated your fear so early, you're doing it when you're like a mile away from them. So you ran up, she dashed away, and you missed. If you would have just kept running, you might have been able to get her since you're moving pretty quick. Did 
So you guys get first turrets. And now you're moving on to the next one. At this point, you guys should have backed off when you didn't have any minions. And the bot lane was missing. But it's whatever. You just run away. You activated your E again. I don't know why. More flashes goes in on you. If you would have had your E, you probably would have lived there. The main thing I'm seeing is you're, you're ulting when you don't need to because the target's one shot anyways and you're already behind them. And you're also using your E way too early in a gank. You'll use it in a situation where you're forcing yourself to blow your flash to land it, which is not a good thing. I'm not quite sure what build you're going right now. Red Smite's perfectly okay on Warwick. It's probably the better Smite to take. Bilgewater Cutlass is virtually useless on him. The life still, your Q gives you so much instant health, so does your ult, that the life still you're getting from Cutlass is negligible. It's useless. You, on Warwick, you just typically want health. I would have queued through him. You don't queue through people for some reason. Just hover your cursor over them and hold down your Q and you'll go straight through them. Because in this situation, do you honestly think Twitch is going to run this way to get away from you? No. So if you queue through him, he's going to keep running and you'll keep hitting him. So you flash onto her, you don't queue through her. She stays, you kill her. That was a really goofy play. Taking dragons fine since you saw them all mid. Alright, your ultimate isn't up. What you need to do here is focus on keeping Sona alive. I wouldn't actually get close to Zed. I would stay on the outside and attack Zed Jabani. Because if you get too close, Bran will pop his ult. If you think it's down, you can go in and help him. But if Bran hits you and Zed with his ult, you guys will be in trouble. You get Twitch. Turn on to Sedge. Yeah, Bran ults. So you're seeing what's happening. If Bran would have ulted sooner, that could have been really messy. Yours out of position, you turn on to her. And you, you see how useless that cutlass is? If somebody ignites you or has an executioner's calling, like in this case, she just had a Bramble Vest, it made your cutlass useless. You're getting zero life still back. The only life still you're getting is when you Q an ult. So there's no point in building it. Trust me. I've played all the Warwick builds over 20 games each and various elos and I know what works and Blade of the Room King is shit trust me overpriced doesn't do much very useless at this point like I said you should have finished off your Cinder Hulk gotten your tier 2 boots or already had your tier 2 boots then got into your Titanic Hydra at that point everything else is situational for example since your team's super high damage and they have a lot of ap i personally would have gone for a locket into knight's vow or you could have gone for a locket into spirit visage would have been fine as well you turn on to her you don't queue through her like you wanted to chase them you even ulted and gotten stunned right so in that situation just queue through her like hover your cursor queue through and you'll be behind her so you get off a lot more damage there's very few situations where you don't queue through somebody. Should be pinging your team off. Not quite sure what they're doing. I guess it turned out, but I mean, Thor's probably going to clean up now. Yeah. Whenever your team's fighting 4v5 like that, ping them off. And as a Warwick, you really shouldn't be split pushing. It's okay for you to ping your team to come with you, but if they don't come, you really shouldn't go there. I'm assuming this is solo key, I honestly don't know. Okay, your ultimate isn't up, so it's actually okay for you to be farming these camps. You ult onto Fiora, it wasn't a battle, a little bit aggressive. Ooh, get the fear. Nah, at that point, I probably would have turned on to Morgue. I mean, you're trying to get the Twitch, but sometimes you got to cut your losses. It's whatever, though. Sometimes you got to take what you can get. Yeah, that Bork isn't doing much for you. You're kind of building like you're a Shivana. I wonder if you're a Shivana player, and that's why you're building like this. Because these look like Shivana items, other than the 
other than the what's it called cinder hole but yeah books really shit on warwick your w already maxes out your attack speed and i see you maxed your q the only time you max your q on warwick is if you're playing him top lane because you need the quick burst and trading power however for clearing your jungle camps and ganking and extended fights your w is actually better to max it doesn't cost any mana to use passively and using passively it makes you attack your jungle camps quicker whenever you become lower than half hp also they make you move quicker whenever you're chasing someone down so max w first on jungle warwick Okay, in this situation, look, your teammates are grouping back up. Move towards a dragon or an objective. You guys are really far ahead in gold. There's no reason for you to be split pushing right now. So I'd move towards mid and probably motion for a dragon. And then once we kill their jungler or most of their team, we could do a baron. You're grouping. No, don't go back into your jungle. You need to group with your team. You didn't even need that blue buff. You're already full of mana. If your team's winning the game without you, they get the dragon. You need to ping for Baron right now. You guys just killed four of them. This is the freest Baron you're ever going to get. Just ping it, take Baron. At that point, you guys can choose to recall if you feel like you need to. You'll probably need to. But you guys could easily go do Baron with Sona's heal buff right now. And Lucian and all of you. Because you can tank it. So you're going for Baron. Lucian's stupid. He doesn't come. You should be tanking it and using your E to take less damage, but I guess you have enough life still to where you don't need to use your E. I still probably used it anyways because you are taking a little bit of damage. You get off the smite, good work. Whenever you see Irelia recalling like this, you should recall too. Sona is also recalling. You don't want Zed to think that, oh, my team's with me. So if all of you recall and none of you come with him, he's more likely not to do this. Like this is stupid right now. He could get himself killed. Yep, he's, he's going to get himself killed. Yep. Zed's dead. You shouldn't have came, like I said. Just you, Whenever someone's doing something stupid like that and all your teammates are leaving, just leave with the majority of your team. That will help your Zed not to do stuff like that. Because he'll feel like he's all by himself. Activate E way too soon. Just take the turret. Alter, that ult wasn't bad. You guys are trying to burst her. You forced her flash, which is worth, I guess. You guys get the kill. Very good. Okay, so right about now, you you need to go back and pick up your minions. Whenever you have Baron buff, your minions move faster. So it should have really been these guys to do it. They should have moved back, gotten close to the wave, and it would have sped them all up. So right now you're waiting for this wave, so wasting time. Baran steps up way too far for no reason. Turn on to the Morgash, no black shield. Probably would have activated my E sooner in that case, but she did use her flash, so not much you can do there. Alright, you go down, not a big deal. A little over aggressive, you didn't have to do that, but your team so far ahead doesn't matter too much. Zed split pushing, I would ping these teammates back because they don't have the minions, plus they're fighting like 3v4 right now. I guess 3v3 technically. Twitch comes up and destroys them, not surprised, they way overstayed. Yep, she's not going to get the kill. Uh, you did go for your spirit vestige, the problem is... They have two massive AD dealers. If you would have gone for Tabbies, it would have made you take a lot less damage from the Twitch and Fiora. They're massive auto attackers. And you basically just have magic resist. So you're actually fairly weak, even though you have a lot of HP. The life still off of your Blade Rune King really isn't going to do much if you're hitting Fiora because of her Bramble Vest. And if one of them ignites you or gets Executioner's Calling, your Blade of the Rune King is going to be essentially useless. And look, you got to look at your teammates, like I said. You got four huge damage teammates. Going for a Locket and Knight's Vow instead of picking up things like Blade of the Room King are going to help out your team out the most and give you the most impact possible. Blade of the Room King's not going to do much at all. All right, Zed's doing more nonsense, splitting by himself over pushing, not looking at the minimap. Just ping them away when they do that. 
right now okay Fiora's over pushing if Fiora wasn't there i would have said go top and shove it in a little bit like just come here kill it wait for your team wait for zed but since Fiora did what she did ulted a little late she wasn't gonna get away though Now you guys technically are fighting 4v4. Bear in mind your ultimate is down. Sona steps up. I don't know what she's doing. Get on the brand. Good fear. Oh man, that's brutal. See, Merc Treads would have really helped you out in this case. Your Swifties aren't actually doing much. If they land is slow on you, your Swifties aren't going to make you move faster than them anyways. Swifties are pretty garbage right now, actually. And they have a bunch of stuns. They got a snare, a stun, a stun, a stun, and multiple slows. So your Swifties aren't actually going to do anything. Merc Treads would have actually gotten you out of there alive, believe it or not. Way overstayed. You guys are fighting under turret, getting killed. So you guys are actually really starting to throw hard right now. If you keep doing this one or two more times, they could win fairly easily. Especially with the way you're building. You're not building for your team, you're building for yourself. Now, what I will say, in a situation where you have bot inhibitor, you want to pull the enemy team as far away from this location as possible. That way your minis can get up and start breaking turrets. So you guys should actually be pushing top right now to split up their team as much as possible. And also be looking to take Baron when it comes up. Really no point to be farming in your jungle at this point. You guys are ahead, you can just farm their jungle. So don't be in your jungle at this point. Trying to save Sona, get off the double fear. You can ult away if you need to. I'd probably just turn on to Fiora like you did there and kill her. Start hitting the Sejuani, honestly. Alright, so you and Sona just kind of got caught out. Team wasn't with you. Before you make a decision, like, I'm going to save this person, I'm going to go in on this person, etc. You need to look on the minimap, see who is where. If you don't have any teammates with you, you probably shouldn't. Man, you guys are going to lose this, lose this game, aren't you? This is starting to look like a loss. Teammates just keep getting caught out. You guys aren't grouped. You guys keep making plays and getting caught out without being together. Let's see if you can close out this game. Honestly, don't know who wins. So you guys are setting up for the Baron. You see Fiora out of position. Pick up the kill. I'm glad you don't waste your anything there. You don't use your ultimate. You know you can chase her down. Very good. Turn on to the Sejuani. I would save my ult in this case for Twitch. Ulting Sejuani isn't going to kill her. So I would Q through her right now. We'll just Q straight through her and then ult on Twitch. Twitch ends up turning. Stay away from each other. If Brand ults, you're all going to die. This game is turning bad, my man. Your build's not going to scale into the late game. Yeah, you're dead. You see how Morgana has a Rylia's? It's one slow item. Even though you have Swifties and it resists slows, it's not that good of an item to the point where you're being slowed right now and you're not actually getting any closer to them. Like, you, you're not going to get to them. So those Swifties is a completely useless buy. That's why you should be buying Tabbies, Mercs, or Mobility Boots if you really know what you're doing. Mobility Boots are good for getting picks and for getting around the map properly. If you're new to work, I highly suggest Tabbies or Merc Treads. So they're shoving you guys in. You've honestly lost at this point. Lucian can't compete with a late game Twitch. Warwick can't compete with a late game Sejuani, especially not with these items. Instead of the Blade of the Rune King and the Spirit Vistage, you should have had a Locket and Knight's Vow easily. And instead of Randuins, I would highly suggest getting a Thornmel. That way, people like Twitch and Fiora can't really heal off of you. This is a big fat wave. So teammates just keep walking up, getting caught out of position. One thing I have noticed in your guys' team fights, you haven't had a proper 5v5, but whenever you guys have grouped properly, which has been maybe two or three times this game, you've done really well. But what ends up happening is part of your team wants to recall and some other people, typically Zed doesn't. Let's say Zed steps up, you guys don't ping him back. You need to be spam pinging him and he dies. And then you guys all move up as four as if you were a five man. 
and then you die because you're fighting 4v5 or you'll try to save somebody whenever your teammates aren't with you and you end up dying with them so i can't necessarily say oh you need to do this in a team fight but what i can say is you need to ping teammates off when they're out of position and you need to not go with somebody if they're doing something stupid let them die on their own and if you're not going with them they'll feel more self-conscious and they might think about it and not do it in the first place. In team fights though, you just need to be logical and think. Lucian should be able to peel for himself against something like a Sejuani. Now, if Fior gets on Lucian, you should probably peel for him because she's gonna tear him up. So what you need to do is peel Fior off if she gets your ADC. Otherwise, you need to be ulting onto Twitch. Save your ult for Twitch, actually, and just target him out. You and Zed need to really just be going for the Twitch. Now, you guys are actually a full AD comp with the Warwick, Irelia, Zed, and Lucian. I understand you and Sona do a little bit of AP, but overall, their late game comp is just better. If you guys couldn't end the game by the 35 minute mark, you weren't going to be able to end it at all. Unless the enemy team does something really stupid. Okay, so Irelia is getting cut out. She's dying. At this point, you should be motioning over to mid. See what you can do. You can't really fight them. Best thing for you guys to do is to fight under your turrets if they keep pushing or fight under a turret over here. But in general, fighting on them isn't the best idea. So you see Sejuani over here, you see Bran, he's running away, he's low HP. I'd probably go for the Bran, let them mess around with the Sejuani. You'll be able to get to him really quick with your movement speed. I wouldn't ult yet because he could move this way or this way, you don't know yet. Just keep running into him until one of them hits you to take off your movement speed. Okay, so you go for the Twitch, it wasn't a bad choice. All right, good play. I think Morgana was actually, Morgana was dead before that fight started. So that was actually a really good choice on your part because Morgana is the only reason why you typically can't kill Twitch or Brand is because of her black shield. So well played by you. Good job looking at the deaths. Move on to the turret. You need to kill Fiora when she jumps on your team. You guys do kill Fiora. Take both inhibitors. And you need to look at the death timers. You guys don't have the minions to take down these two turrets. So what you probably need to do is go take this inhibitor and go straight to Elder. Then regroup, base regroup, and end the game. And just take this inhibitor back. Don't stay. Don't walk around this way. Just walk straight out. Okay, so you're taking the Elder. And now you should just back. Looks like you want to be in a safer spot. And you guys need to regroup. Ping them back. If Sejuani goes in and our team's behind them, like Sejuani ults, Twitch comes in and ults, they're dead. Ping them away. You have a full build, and it's not the best, to be honest. Like I said, I would like to see a Knight's Vow and a Locket instead. Locket would completely negate the Brand ult and pretty much the Twitch ult as well combined. And the Knight's Vow is just going to help out whoever you put it on. You should probably put on your ADC or Irelia, though. Irelia is dead. She dies a lot. Holy crap. She's coming back from base. You guys need to wait. I'd ping off your teammates, and if the enemies start to motion for a fight, just back away. You guys really need to fight 5v5. Sejuani and Twitch have too much pick potential. If you guys are spread out, you can easily get picked off. Okay, grouping up. Very smart. Save your ult for the Twitch or for the brand. Only use it on the brand if he hasn't used his ult yet. If the brand has already used his ult, you should really save your ult for the Twitch. The only thing brand can really contribute in a team fight is his ult for the most part. So you have both inhibitors pushing. Lucian really should be grouping with you guys right now. These This wave can just sit here. Since you guys do have Elder Dragon, you're going to want to group and force a fight. Especially since Fior is split pushing. 5v4, you guys could easily force a fight with with elder dragon buff we shouldn't really shouldn't be here right now so he's pushing up so you guys are fighting 3v4 here you can't really fight 3v4 under turret even though you do have elder you need to at least be 4v4 under turret with elder buff so you're waiting not much you can do you guys really need to get this third inhibitor to make it effective baron is coming up so keep an eye out for that don't get caught and die it's better for you to get baron you activate e Look, Fior still bot managing this wave. You guys could easily come in and take this turret. I don't know why Zed went in on Brand. Kind of silly. Oh man, you're low. You see how you're getting no life still back since she has a Thornmail? You're getting no life still, so that 
like I said, the Blade of the Room King is completely useless. You're still waiting for the Twitch. I mean, ult him. You needed to ult him immediately when he came out. You had about a second and a quarter window to ult him, but you kind of just walked away. If you would have ulted him there, you would have easily been able to kill him. Especially since Morgana Black Shield herself. But now instead, he's going to kill your whole team. The enemies really should be able to win off this if they all just ran down mid right now. I guess they don't have the minion power, so they can't actually. We're going to need to take Baron. Sona, ping her back. Even if she gets Baron, you guys can't win a fight 4v5 with Baron buff. So I would have just pinged Sona back, to be honest. Her trying to steal it is just way too low of a chance. Even if she did, it wouldn't be worth it. More people getting caught out. Activate E. Good. I would just chase her down. I wouldn't waste all. Smart move. Now, you guys need to group up. You're fighting 4v4 and Fiora's dead. She's one of the more powerful players. Sona isn't that useful and she's a pretty bad. So I'll try to fight 4v4 right now, going in, taking an inhibitor. But since your team isn't grouped, like I said, you can't really do anything. Hopefully you guys group up. They go in on you. Sejuani wastes ult, twitches all the way back here. Now what you need to do, try to position yourself off to the side of them. So don't actually get stuck on a tank. Position yourself to where you're not actually in the fight, but you're very close to it and you can ult the Twitch. Try to figure out where he's going. Since Sejuani's ult is down, now would be a good time to fight, to be honest. Plus Fiora's respawning. It's 5v4 and Sejuani's ult is down. You guys need to engage. Oh man. Can't really fight now. People are too low. You hurt, it's fine. You get snared. Your Swifties are pretty useless. They're not helping you move fast, are they? You ult the tank. I mean, you're going to die at that point anyways because you don't have the right boots, but you need a, I don't know, man. That's just rough. And then you guys lost the game, I assume, from that. Wow, Zed's tearing up the team, apparently. That should have, you guys should have lost the game off that. We'll see. Yeah, there's not much he could do. One me two. We're gonna kill him. He's trying to hold the base. You should be able to fight them off. Get them off the turret. Missed all. That's just mechanics. I'm just say on that. You guys need to group at this point, or at least try to. I understand you're dealing with waves, but since this is lower elo, you assume these two are by themselves, so you might be able to make it engage. Ult the Twitch. You get the Twitch. Very good. Used your ult properly there. Used your flash. You guys get the two kills. Now, your inhibitors are down, so you can't do that much off of it. But you might be able to come over here and get a pick. Oh, man. Your teammates are dying. So, Sona's dead. Zed's almost dead, so you can't actually engage on them right now. You just need to look at the deaths and see who's up. And look on the minimap and see who's where. Just defend your base for now. Only way you guys win this is if you keep getting ults off on the Twitch. He's got a full build, so if you don't get an ult off on him, he's going to just kill you. Kill your whole team, really. You come over here, Twitch is still dead, so this is a good fight. Good ult on the brand. Well, a little unnecessary. You could actually kill him with one Q. Now, one of you needs to go back and defend your base. You're going to lose your Nexus. So, people are already at the base. You guys should have actually taken an Elder Dragon together. Lucian shouldn't have back there. You, Lucian, and Zed could have taken it really quick. Now, you guys are stranded in your base 4v4 with two down inhibitors and a fed twitch. Let's see how you handle it. And you don't have ult up either. Not much you can do. Just wait for one of them to make a really stupid mistake and do your best to punish it. 
shit ult by Sona. She should only be ulting after they go in on you guys. So her using her ult aggressively, it's not like you guys can follow up since they are ahead. Switch ults. You ult him. I'm proud of you. That was a good ult. Morgana fucked her team by not black shielding the Twitch. Good pick. Alright, you get another one. And at this point... You guys should be able to get all three of their inhibitors, I think. A little bit late activation on the E there. You go down. Oh man. Whenever you're in a fight like that and they're throwing their spells at you, that's the time you want to use your E. Because you'll take a lot less damage. It's very similar to a Garen W. Use it whenever they're throwing all their shit at you. If you would have used it when Bran was tossing all the spells at you like that, you would have probably lived. You were pretty much full health and they killed you. Okay, so they're doing Baron. This is a good pick opportunity. I would wait a little bit. It's going to take them a few more seconds to kill us anyways. Wait for Zed to get a little bit closer and then ult the Twitch. So you ult, you miss the Twitch. Very unfortunate, he flashes. Yes, kill Twitch, good. Ah, uh, how is this gonna turn out? You played it right. I just, that was just up to your teammates to play it right. Yep. So now two of them are dead and three of you are dead. But their AD carry is dead and Twitch is their main carry, so you might, guys might still be able to win this. Their base is also crumbling in on them since they tried to take Baron and he took all their inhibitors. Kimish should have been defending, holy crap. If Yor gets that free inhibitor, that's pretty bad. Yep, she's gonna get it. Oh my god, what is she doing? Good things I blocked it. <laughs> what was that? She went back in with like one health. That shouldn't have worked out like that. Right when you guys come up though, you're gonna want to go ahead and go for Elder. They're shoved into their base. Elder's gonna help you guys out a lot in your next fight. Save your ultimate for the Twitch. So you guys go for it. Very good. Now shove out mid, obviously, because they took your inhibitor, so shove this out. I would be looking to pick one of them off when they go for a red buff or a blue buff. This is low elo. People do stupid shit for buffs. So one of them will probably come try to take blue. Twitch will probably come and try to take red. So clear out vision. And I'd probably wait in this area to kill them. Now it is technically 5v4 right now. But Fiora is going to be up soon. So unless one of them comes away up. Don't even bother looking for a pick. So Zed's island side. Rally. I really is looking for a pick. You guys should have taken this blue buff like I said. You guys would have all just came on a buff like this. That would have been so free. Pushing in. Of course, Fiora's up. You should be able to tell from her death timer by the time you guys got here, she's going to be up, like I said. You guys don't have Baron buff, so your super minions aren't that strong. But you do have two from each wave coming in. Just pill, and then when you see Twitch ultim, it's that simple. Okay, so now you just go for Twitch. Twitch gets away, it's fine, you get Bran. You played that right, you forced a lot of stuff with your ult. Alright, it looks like you guys are actually going to win this game. There are so many throws on both sides. I thought for sure they were going to win since they had a Twitch. Good job running away. Two of you are alive. Two of them are alive. I'd probably be pressing this inhibitor right now with Zed. Be, be mindful of the spawn time of Fiora though. She's coming in pretty soon. So Zed gets caught out. He wasn't being mindful of spawn in times. Really bad idea to ult the Twitch like that. Warwick doesn't have damage late game. Even with your goofy Bork, they're not going to have enough damage to really one shot anybody. Especially 1v2. So that was a bad idea. Should have just ulted away. That's probably game. I don't know. This is really back and forth. This Sona is garbage. She keeps using her ults at like the worst time. 
All right, yeah, that should be it. And then they clean up. All right, I'm going to give you the reasons why you lost and things you need to improve on. So early game, whenever you're playing against a weak enemy jungler, you need to do a solo invade. Like I said, come up at the 130 mark, leave this bush, come up and take her shit. Just take a red buff and leave and come to your blue, leave your ward in that bush, etc. You need to not be building these shit items like Blade of the Rune King on Warwick. They're garbage. Same thing with Swifties. You need to be going for Mercs, Tabbies, or Mobility Boots. You really want to get a locket, especially whenever they have a lot of AoE. And a Twitch locket counters Twitch really hard because he relies on bursting the enemy team with his ultimate. After he doesn't have his ultimate, he's fairly useless. Whenever anyone's out of position on your team, they're up by themselves, ping them off. Don't follow them 2v5. You're just going to get yourself and them killed. That's a huge mistake. I saw you'd get caught out trying to help people instead of just pinging them away. Other than that, your team fighting wasn't that bad. You kept saving your ult to go for the Twitch for the most part, which was really good. One final note is in the early game, whenever you're behind somebody and they're almost dead, nine times out of 10, you don't use your ultimate unless they're about to kill your teammate. In most cases, I really was already under turret or wasn't that close to her anyways, and you'd waste your ultimate. Just walk up since you're already behind them and auto attack them to get the kill. Your ultimate's a really important tool. You could easily use it to kill a lane who is full HP. So it's usually pretty wasteful to use it on someone who has like 200 HP left. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. If you want me to coach one of your replays, pricing and details are down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Kingsticks, and I'll catch you guys next video.